Hello everyone. Welcome to TechTech.com. Today we will understand inverse of matrix. So till now whatever we have studied in algebra portion, this is the most important among them. Okay, and you will have few questions and you can uh, expect some question around this topic. So let's give it a star or one more. Well, so this is important and uh, we will have a lot of problems to solve after understanding this topic. So let's get started. First of all, I'll write what is the definition of inverse and then we will try to find out few constraint over it. Okay, so the inverse of A is equal to A adjoint of A upon the determinant of A. Fine, so this is the basic formula to find out the inverse. Okay, inverse of a matrix. Now, let's und understand a few a few things we will derive from here only so see here we have determ determinant a in denominator right so it means that to to be defined this entire thing to be defined determinant of a should not be equal to 0 right otherwise this will be a mathematical error fine so it means that a will be a non singular matrix okay so a will be a non singular matrix now here as we are talking about this determinant again so it's very clear that a will be a square matrix okay so two things are there first is a will be a square matrix and a will be a non singular matrix now let's understand this adjoint a what is this adjoint a okay i don't know what is it so let's understand it adjoint a is basically adjoint a we write as the cofactor matrix cofactor matrix of a and then it's transpose okay so adjoint a is the transpose of cofactor matrix well let's solve a problem very fast so let's take a b c d okay so first of all if we try to find out the cofactor of a so let's take cofactor of a okay so cofactor matrix will become what so if you find out the cofactor of a it will become a and this is 2 is to 2 so it will become here d because what is the cofactor formula for cofactor finding cofactor of the element it is minus 1 to the power i plus j and then the remaining matrix okay so this will be d again for b this will be here it will become minus of c fine and now uh, for c it will become tell me it will become it is uh, 1 is to 2 so it will become again minus of b and then for d it will become a fine then if we take transpose so the adjoint adjoint of this a will be equal to the transpose of this com matrix so what will be the transpose just t d minus c and then minus b and a okay now inverse of sorry so what will be the inverse of a inverse of a will become adjoint of a upon determinant a so it will be equal to uh, 1 by determinant a is what ad minus bc and then this one adjoint of a that is d minus b minus c a okay so this is the this is the in a inverse similarly if you have three cross three matrix you can proceed in similar fashion uh, just to save time i took it two cross two so if you can remember also if it is 2 cross 2 matrix it will be sometimes time uh, time saving for uh, 
to solve some other bigger problem so what you have to do is this is basically determinant right simple so now this if you see in the original matrix this will remain same okay this diagonal will remain same so this diagonal will remain same but the negative sign will be applied so if the diagonal this diagonal will remain same and we will add just negative sign and we will exchange this diagonal okay so this will come here and this will come here right now let's understand the properties of this we have so many properties but we will go through the properties which are important so the first one is like very simple from the definition itself that a into a inverse will become identity matrix which is equal to a inverse into a fine then it is saying that if a and b are inverse of each other then a b equal to identity matrix and same 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 things same thing here now let's uh, understand the important thing which is useful is if a into b whole inverse is there then if we break this it will be equal to b inverse into a inverse okay so similar to transpo uh, similar to transpose also uh, if we have a b inverse it will be equal to b inverse a inverse okay so the order will be changed here also okay again the order is changing so just remember the things where the if we take the whole inverse the order is changed so these kind of things you can write down at the same place and it will help you to remember so now similarly if you have b c d and then whole inverse then it will be equal to d inverse c inverse b inverse fine now uh, you can have one more important property like if you have a dash which is which, which is transpose of a and then inverse of it it will be equal to inverse of it and then taking transpose fine now if you have a inverse and then complex conjugated transpose which we studied like which we represent by theta transposed conjugate which we call okay so if you have a inverse and then transposed conjugate it will be equal to the transposed conjugate and then its inverse fine so the op order of operation does not matter here so these are the important properties among which this one is most important which you should remember always okay so now we will solve a lot of problem here so I guess you will be enjoying. Thanks for watching.